Welcome to this special place. This is St. Martin's Episcopal Church. It has been prepared for us and for you. Back in 1963, the burgeoning suburbs of Williamsburg needed a new place for people to gather in fellowship with one another, to break bread, to share their lives, to help in raising their children, and to encourage one another in their older years. That was 1963. This is 2014. And we are still here now to welcome you because people before us prepared the way for you. That habit of preparing is a spiritual habit, a habit that God has been at work doing for eons. Back in 1607, when the Virginia Company arrived just down the street at Jamestown, they didn't always realize that the Spirit of God was alive then in the indigenous peoples who were already inhabitants of this good land. In subsequent centuries, we've come to realize that those who are native here understood God's Spirit dwelt all around us, just like we receive God's Holy Spirit today at this Episcopal Church. This is a place of quiet, of liveliness, of activity, of rest, of sanctuary, of outreaching in mercy to fulfill others' needs. We hope that you will come and explore this place. Come to the garden, the co-op garden where children learn science. Come to the garden, the memorial garden, where we give thanks for those who have come before us and whose spirits still strengthen us. Come to the church, inside the church. You are welcome here. No doctrinal statements required, no ideological preferences needed. Simply come and know you will be welcome. One of the wonderful things about St. Martin's Episcopal Church is we're big enough to make a difference, but we're small enough to feel like family. And so having opportunities for ministry within the church and outside of the church is one of the things that I really feel called to do here at this parish. It's a vibrant community that goes out and works with area nonprofits such as Fish or with the Grove area, or we even have our own meals here for those who are in need or those who are in recovery communities. We also run a win winter shelter here and where we welcome the homeless into our home here as Isaiah asked us to do. And just we love opening our doors to all sorts of hospitality, whether it's someone who's coming into worship, find a spiritual solace or someone who's in need. That's where we are and that's what we do. St. Martin's is a parish where we offer a myriad of different worship experiences. There's a quiet community that gets together at 6.30 in the morning for Benedictine prayers on Wednesdays, and then they share with each other in the Benedictine model of being open and sharing and looking for Christ and everything. We also have a, a healing Eucharist that happens every Wednesday at noon that is really important to a lot of folks. It's where we do intentional prayers at the altar, where we do the laying on of hands and prayers for folks and celebrate the Eucharist and have a very warm and community feeling service. And then on Saturday nights, we have a Taze service, which is very contemplative in nature and very participatory in nature. There's something for everybody here from the most devout, sure person 
to the person who might be seeking and looking for something in their life that is missing. And then of course we have our traditional Eucharist on Sunday at eight o'clock. We have a right one Eucharist in the kind of Elizabethan language the Episcopal Church is known for. Then we have one at 915 where all families are welcome and the kids are as welcome to be as loud as they want and it features a children's sermon, lively music, and really participatory service because we know kids are the future of the church. And then 11 o'clock we have our, our more traditional Rite 2, which is a little bit more modern language than the Rite 1 service, um, with a choir and with music and organ. But we also have an incredible amount of ways to be involved, from Christian formation activities all the way to outreach activities where we learn and what we like to say inwardly digest the Word of God and then we go out into the world and we try to be try to be the hands and hearts of Christ in this world and make Williamsburg look a little bit more like the kingdom.